And welcome to another segment of the Chronicles here of the Crazy Joe Show. This is Crazy Joe. I have a terrible itch because I just got out of the shower. Oh, my God. I hope I don't have this in a car. And uh, there's a documentary I want everyone to watch on Reels this Sunday. And it uh, talks about the when metal ruled the land, the world back in the 80s. It was a great time back then, even though there was a lot of fag music out of London or England, Britain, whatever you want to call it. A lot of fag music, fag bands spreading the word. And um, so if you can look past that, um, you know, because uh, it was a terrible time, too, in the 80s. You know, the punk and the, uh, and the uh, like I said, the fag music out of England and, and all these horrible genres which they uh, dare call rock and roll, uh, unless it was done by the Ramones and uh, the New York Dolls and stuff. Those were great, great bands. I consider them great punk bands. Uh, Ramones were punk and rock and roll, so, you know, they were they were amazing, fantastic. I really miss those guys, uh, only one surviving. Anyway, let me get to the point. Do you know there were about 134 complaints um, um, you know, by people making to the FCC. The FCC received over 134 complaints about that goddamn, oh my God, I want to say the word so bad, that piece of shit, Beyonce, um, and, and they were indecency reports because, let me tell you something. This, you know, I, I know a lot of you people are young and stupid, but the rap shit started a long, long time ago, and just about when rock and roll was, was at its peak, the rap shit started coming in, and there were a lot of nasty videos of these subhumanoid pieces of dog shit, of these uh, big, ugly, uh, some of them were, most of them were fat and ugly, and other ones were just regular you know, shake body, shaking their asses, exposing practically their pubic hairs. And MTV, the uh, the, the worst, the, the betrayer of, of rock and roll music, started catering to these fucking um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, and uh, that was really bad. That was really bad. And uh, so you see, there's a history of jungleism. I call it jungleism, like uh, like Tarzan and Jane. Uh, you know how they used to dress uh, in the uh, in the wilds of uh, Africa. And uh, so this is nothing particularly new. But I'm glad that people woke up and finally made a stand against this 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 nonsense that these people are not doing real music. They're projecting racism. They're racist toward white people. They hate white people. And they're doing this to stick it to the white people. And the white people, the, of course, the pussies that they are, are not doing anything about it. Not banning these type of performances not banning these fucking videos, encouraging these people to basically loot and riot and act uh, incredibly, uh, I mean, pushing the bathrooms of, 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 of decency. Uh, there is no decency with this, with this uh, so-called culture. Uh, there is just animalism. It's just from the like from the jungles of of of, of the Congo Republic, and uh, and um, this is a, this is why rock and roll music is dead, and I think it's going to be dead either for a really long time or forever. But uh, uh, as long as these uh, these subhumanoids, these inferior motherfuckers, are allowed. To play their stupid fucking videos and and the crapola music that's out there now, uh, there is no end in sight that this will ever end. This is why you people need me, the savior 
of real rock and roll music. So I will straighten this out one way or the other. And I will form Joe's Rock and Roll Army. And together we will conquer and bring back our beloved rock and roll music. And have um, these uh, these stations uh, do away with, uh, with the rap crap and these obscene videos, I call them. There needs to be some decency. Let me tell you about rock and roll music, okay? There were a few bands that played at the Super Bowl that were lucky enough to play, and then it became a black thing. And let me tell you this. Nobody ever complained to the FCC the way they did with Beyonce and Janet Jackson. I'm sure they did some complaints about that when she showed her fucking breast on national TV. There was never any complaints against rock and roll music because rock and roll music is good time music. It's decent music. It's for the whole family. It's for the whole environment. And they took away our beloved rock and roll music. And you know who did it. Well, the guy that says, have a a relax, have a donut. He's the one that made the fucking call. They always make the fucking call. And they make the call because they're part of the new world order. They don't want people to feel... Okay, after all, they did kill our Lord, right? They don't want people to feel. They don't want, you know, they made billions, if not millions and billions of dollars. And now they're exploiting this, uh, this, this, this ridiculous, it's not music, it's noise pollution. It's indecency, um, uh, you know, to humanism. You... Support the Crazy Joe show if you want. If you don't, go fuck yourselves. I don't care. I'll, I'll get my own support. Believe me, I will. And we will, to uh, me and the boys in Joe's Rock and Roll Army, we will conduct uh, some protests down in New York City where the poison and the evil is coming from. And, um, <clears throat> and we will uh, have a grassroots group and uh, we will we will do the best that we can to bring back our our beloved rock and roll music. So the crazy Joe is, is yes, it's, it's not just about entertainment, but it's about a movement. And we're going to eliminate because these are the real racists. We're not the racists; they're the racists. And you got to be pretty fucking ignorant, stupid, blind motherfucker not to be able to see that that this is the cause of the problem. Of course, I'm very busy. I want to put my show together. I don't really have time for activism. But if I have the time, if I have um, the ways to do this, uh, I certainly will. So I want to talk about the, 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 the disgusting pigs. I mean, these fucking cunt bitches, they think they're hot shit. And they call them queenies from all those shows from MTV, uh, 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 hip hop in Atlanta and all that shit. They call them queenies. But I'm gonna tell you what they are. They're fat, overweight, disgusting beast of burden, disgusting animals, and they definitely belong in the Cucamonga Republic because that's where they came from. All right, I gotta go.